Oh, my husband lied to me and he's just coming home. Hey folks, we're stabbing and squirting today. Okay guys, as gross as that sounds to stab and squirt, we were really doing that today. So we're doing the CD&T, uh, which is the Clostridium type C and D and the tetanus. So our, our ewes, hopefully, if they bred in the first heat cycle in October, they're gonna be due, I'm, I'm hoping in about a month. So fingers crossed. So we're giving this today and then when the lambs are born, um, then they will also uh, get this shortly after they're born. So if you want to know more about it, I gave a little tiny bit of tidbit on my previous uh, the record keeping video, just a very little short snippet. Um, and then we're giving dewormer also. So this safeguard is, a, it's not approved in sheep, it's approved in goats, but the vet gave this to me. We're going to do the dosage as per the vet. And um, you're just not supposed to give it. I believe it's like the first trimester of pregnancy. And it's definitely not. They are, they're about a month from lambing. So should be safe. Uh, we've, we've always given this to them. And the vet uh, said it's completely safe. So we've never had any issues. Not super worried about, uh, about parasites or worms. But it's, it's always good measure to do that. So I, if we're super worried about it, then we'll get a different protocol. We might use something different and have the vet check uh, their, their poo for parasites, but um, just an extra layer of protection. So today's going to be a very, very long day. I just woke up, had my coffee, and it's 6.54 in the morning. Been up for a little while, but it's been too dark to get outside and do anything. Plus, it's it's just at freezing. It's 32, so still kind of cold. Uh, Got to do a lot of moving around today. We're going to try to use our new head catch today. That may or may not go well, so uh, I'll be back. We'll see how that works out. And the only reason why it's going to be complicated... Oh, it looks like my camera is filthy. Holy cow, hold on. Ooh, that better? Can't tell. <laughs> um, so the only reason why it's going to be complicated is because we have to give vaccines to, bless you, we have to give vaccines to the sheep today. Hi, Grumpy Camel. How you doing, Pepper? Hi, Pepper. Uh, and if you guys saw my video, it was a few videos back of I bought myself a present. It was actually the head catch, which is currently back there. So uh, we don't have anything to mount it to. We don't have, the ground is completely frozen. So typically uh, what you would do and what we're going to do, we're going to put posts in the ground and anchor it. So when the sheep run through it, because they're going to try to run through the opening and then when their shoulders hit the catch, we don't want the thing to tip over on them. So, um, Typically, that's what you would do. However, since we need to get that done this weekend because the sheep, I mean, they're due in about a month. So a month to maybe about a month and a half. Depends on when they got bred through their heat cycle. So this is the head catch that I want to put up eventually. And we will. We just have to wait till the ground's frozen. So... I'm going to get that moved out, see if there's enough room in our current pen, which is not ideal, but I mean, it worked a little bit, but it's just uh, definitely not ideal. This is going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to see if that'll work. So I'll show you my struggle trying to get that out of there, but I got to feed first because, well, I have an audience, so I'm going to feed first and get everybody happy.
Dwayne, honey, I don't think you're going to fit. <sighs> He's so curious, but his horns are actually a little bit wider than, than the shoot. <laughs> are you going to try? He can go this way. This, this side's way open. So, hey, buddy, you want to come this way? Or are you just going to rub on it? Don't rub on it. It's so pretty and blue. I don't want you to rub all the paint off. Oh, look at that. Are you going to try, honey? You don't have to. Oh, honey. Oh. Here. Oh, Bubba. Good thing you're a good, calm ram. Oh, you are going to try. one more gate in eight foot. I knew the hardware store or the feed store had them. My husband said they had three. So he went and got one. They were on sale. He asked if he wanted or if he can go pick up the second one and third one. I said, yeah, get them all. Get every one of them. Well, he went to the store. They didn't actually have three. They only had two. So he lied to me. Right, Douglas? Why is the dog shitting right into where I need to walk? <sighs> He'll never admit it. Okay, so I'm enticing the sheep to come in for grain because we're gonna vaccinate and everything, but these other little knuckleheads are not wanting to come in. Come on, sheep! Which is weird because Maddie, that white one in the middle, she is a grainaholic. Come on, sheep! Come on! That's well, weird to me that she's not wanting to come in. Everybody else does. So I'm just going to stand over here in the corner. Maybe they'll kind of forget that I'm here and come in with the rest of them. We'll see.
going to do roughing this later? Ooh. Yeah. Bird burger. Go in the side of her cheek. She can't bite it. No, she bit me. Yeah, but I got her. They're trying to get in there, so we'll go in there and get those out.
least favorite. Who is she? <clears throat> you have to have a beer in your hand when we're doing this. You think that's so smart? Yeah. And is it smart? Chester in first. Because Wayne, we may not even have to put him through here. You wanna? Yeah. Well, that one. Ooh, easy. Get him too. Why? I could probably do him without putting him in.
make the whole thing sideways. Stand up. Get keys. Here, just why don't you shut it up? I had an idea. <laughs> okay. That's one for me, one for you. See, I told you I can ding. What? Should have shut it. Okay. I do have to give him So that's what happens at the end of the day when you fall in the poo right after you are done vaccinating. Ain't it pretty? How'd we do? I have poop on me. Me too. Poop. How well do we work as I can't say another word, but I have to say <laughs> poop. How well do we work as a team? We sucked balls. We did great. High five. Yeah, we did good. Yeah, we did good. Your grubby ass. Oh yeah, my grubby ass had to take my clothes off and I'm in shorts now. I Should was... have seen her before. <laughs> Whoop! Stop. Ah, uh, vaccines in the books. We had three U's that uh, are bagging up. Exactly. We had three of them. Uh, I think it was buttercup, lips, and then one of the horned U's. I can't... Sorry, I just had to come back in because the Douglas can't stop swearing and making sentences that don't make any sense. Anyway, we did great. Um, the head catch actually worked very well. Um, as you can probably see, it did move around a little bit because it's not anchored and it will be. We're going to move it, we're going to anchor it, and we're probably going to put some concrete uh, runners down and concrete it down. Uh, overall, that went really well. Uh, the sheep, for the most part, are pretty friendly, easy to work with, except for the horned ones. It's really strange that they're kind of flighty, but we're done. I'm tired, dirty, I look like I haven't slept in days, and uh, oh, we're getting ready for babies. So, yeah, three are bagging. So, pretty happy. So, we shaved their butts, gave them the cd and tea, and then dewormed them, and we're just... Uh, that's it. We're just going to feed them and, and wait for babies. So stay tuned for that.